Hey guys, uh, I kind of feel like I'm getting stagnant with knife videos right now. <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I'm still going to continue doing knife, at pretty much everything knife, of course, but I am into other things. I have many other avocations, so I figure if you, if you follow me, you're into knives. Most knife people are into guns also, so I figured I could do a gun video here and there, and uh, this is one that I think a lot of people could appreciate because if you're not into guns, then possibly you have a gun use for self-defense. That seems to be a common thing. So, uh, I am the president for Students for Concealed Carry on campus for the University of Alabama. So, naturally, I'm into guns and I advocate concealed carry and stuff like that. So, just wanted to show you what I keep on my bedside table to protect uh, me and my fiance and, of course, my two little pups. Uh, it's a Glock 23, 40 cal, of course, and this is a Streamlight TLR2. Uh, it's just a light and laser combo. Let me go ahead and clear the weapon. I do keep it loaded. Go ahead and point in a safe direction. Make sure it's unloaded. That's what I keep it loaded with. Uh, this is 40 caliber Federal Hydroshock. And it's uh, 180 grain hollow point with a lead post in there. It's just going to expand more than a full metal jacket and cause more damage. And the, the off chance that you do have to use it. Uh, hopefully not. It's always a last resort. Always a last resort. You don't want to resort to lethal force unless you have no other choice. Uh, I can't stress that enough. A lot of people who don't who don't know a lot of people well enough to know what they're about, who are gun owners, they think that we're all bloodthirsty, looking for trouble, and that's just not true. I, I've only met a couple gun owners that kind of seem that way, and they're, I mean, they're bad apples everywhere, so of course there are some people. But the majority of gun owners that I've seen are responsible people, and like me, they just have it in case they ever need it, and we don't look for fights at all. I, I hope to God I never even have to pull this thing out. I do carry conceal. I don't carry this weapon, but I've never even thought about pulling my pistol out, and I hope it stays that way. Uh, I never want to be put in that situation ever. So wanted to clear that up before I continued on. Sorry, I didn't have it in focus, did I? Uh, okay, so it's 40 cal. This is a TLR2, which now the weapon is clear, so I can manipulate it. Uh, that's a flashlight. I don't know if you can see. It's also a laser, but the, the flashlight kind of drowns out the laser. I had the laser zeroed for around 15 feet, which is about the distance from where I'm sitting in bed to the door to the bedroom. So I can just post up if I'm groggy at night. And uh, where that laser is, is approximately where the bullet's going to go. And this light is actually extremely bright. Uh, you may not be able to tell on the video, but it's actually blinding. I mean, it's it's really, really bright. Uh, so just being this being shown in an attacker's face at night uh, would be pretty disorienting. And that's just another step in the, the uh, force continuum. I mean, you want to take it step by step. You don't want to go straight to shooting at somebody. You want to deter them in any way possible. The laser is a, a deterrent. The, the bright flashlight is a deterrent. And if that doesn't work, then of course you you go to other things. But uh, not everybody agrees with having guns. Of course I do. So uh, I don't know. I don't want to get into that here. But the reason I chose Glock is because it's extremely reliable. Uh, that they are low to no maintenance if you're not into maintaining your weapon you actually don't have to it's a good idea too but you don't have to they're extremely easy to field strip uh, you just pull the trigger and pull the slide release and then it comes apart and there's the fire control group and then you have your recoil spring and your barrel and that's pretty much it that's all you need to do to clean it so that's another pro that this gun has is you don't have to be really versed in uh, 
gunsmithing to clean this gun. I mean, it's, anybody can do it with just a few seconds of training. So, uh, low to no maintenance, uh, extremely reliable. You, you have to try to get this gun to not fire. Uh, it it just works every time you pull the trigger. I have yet to have a malfunction with this this particular gun. Uh, I have had the extractor mess up on me on one Glock and uh, that anomaly fixed itself. I don't know what was going on. I don't know if I had a piece of brass stuck behind the ejector or what, but I did take it apart, or the, this is the extractor. Uh, I did take it apart, couldn't find anything. I, I guess it just fixed itself. So that kind of stuff happens. But I haven't had a malfunction with this gun and if I had, uh, it probably wouldn't be on my bedside table because I want something that I know is going to go bang every time I pull the trigger. Uh, I really don't know what else to say. I don't really know what the point of this video was. Kind of just to break up the monotony of all the knife knife uh, content. So Glock 23, this is what I keep on my bedside table with the TLR2, of course. Uh, Loaded with Federal Hydroshock 180 grain. Just a really good gun. I don't know if you're anybody who isn't into pistols wants to get into it. I really suggest this gun a lot. Uh, it's a little bit more potent than 9mm and the recoil isn't much worse. I mean, a 9mm pretty much has no recoil. Uh, but this is a little snappy. It's not going to hurt your hand or anything, but it's noticeably more snappy than 9mm. But it's it's not bad at all my 100 pound fiance shoots it so you know it's not bad uh, the TLR2 I can highly recommend that uh, it's never malfunctioned on me it does take two CR123 batteries uh, it holds it zero really well also I haven't zeroed the laser in, uh, in a while so it does hold it zero and the gun is cleared so don't freak out about that I'm going to go ahead and show you the, the LED in there there that's the uh actual flashlight and there's the laser that comes out of there so pretty easy to zero and it does hold the zero really well so if you're looking for a gun uh personal protection something like that i highly recommend this uh let me know if y'all want to see more stuff like this i i have many other hobbies i can show you i just thought that most people wanted to see knives uh Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks to all the people who subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.